Welcome to the Daily Message. I'm Dane Spots. We are born coming into this world with our fists clenched, screaming and wanting everything. We die leaving this world with our palms open, calm, and wanting nothing. The life that we create in between those two moments is all that matters. In this, all that in between is the story of your life. Allow me to share a parable. The Thai meditation master asks, you see this goblet? For me, this glass is already broken. I enjoy it. I drink out of it. It holds my water admirably, sometimes even reflecting the sun in beautiful patterns. If I should tap it, it has a lovely ring to it. But when I put this glass on the shelf and the wind knocks it over, or my elbow brushes it off the table and it falls to the floor and shatters, I say, of course. When I understand that the glass is already broken, every moment with it is precious. In the grand tapestry of our own personal existence, we embark on our life journey barely realizing the myriad of possibilities that life presents and what it means to our existence. This rich tapestry we weave with all the precious and fleeting moments that lie between. Today I ask a small favor of you. To pause after you hear this message, and today to think about it. Those moments, those choices, the experiences that you make during the in-between and how much it really matters. You are already dead, gone, dust in the wind. This thought leads us to a stark realization. We are, in essence, already at the cusp of our own epilogue. Yet, it is this very proximity to our end, if we're able to see it, that breathes life into our days, urging us to seek a depth and purpose that transcends mere existence. The biggest human temptation is to settle for too little. A life devoid of depth and meaning is the root cause of misery. Are you empty most days, bored with your life? Chasing entertainments or struggling just to survive so you can pursue relaxation and entertainment? That's not a fulfilled life. The truth is, you don't even have to live that way. You can go deep into yourself and explore your values, what matters to you. Put your ego aside and Find out what will fill your cup with meaning and joy before it inevitably breaks and becomes dust, as do we all. How? Well, you just have to do one thing, and that is demand more of yourself. It begins with self-awareness, a deep dive into your soul of who you are, not just your job, not your house or your possessions. That isn't you. Who are you, the real authentic you? Once you know this, and it may take a bit of stretching, doing some things that may be uncomfortable at first to know this, well, everything changes. And the in-between suddenly matters a whole lot more. It's a deep dive, but the dive is worth it because of the fruit that it bears. The things that you thought were important suddenly don't matter. And your focus is now about the things that actually do. Like what? like your connection with the natural world, your connection with family and friends, your sense of purpose and doing work that fills up your soul. In time, it rages on, but it's not the same because it's filled with new experiences and adventures that add to you and not take away from you. So how do you get to have this kind of life? How do you explore yourself and understand the values that command your present actions? You have to put your ego to the test and demand more of yourself and follow some guiding principles. Is there work involved? Well, sure there is, but why not? It's only your life we're talking about. For some reason, there's a human propensity to settle for the minimal, to just get by. Not for everyone, of course, but for the majority of people. Why is that? this settling for way less than we deserve or are capable of, 
that ensnares the masses in a web of superficiality, robbing them of true joy and fulfillment that comes from a life well lived with intention and meaning. Is it laziness? That may be a part of it, but I think it's mostly how we're taught by our family, our friends, and our culture. The eyes can't see if the mind is blind. So if you were conditioned all your life, at home, in school, at work, that your purpose is just about chasing money so you can spend it on a few comforts and entertainment, then you jumped on the wrong train, and it's taking you to the land of misery, not adventure and enlightenment. Should you be interested in getting off the train you're on and enjoying the ride to your final destination, which is death, and making the in-between part a much more rich and fulfilling journey, I would offer you these seven guiding principles. I'll have more to say about all of these in subsequent programs, but here's a summary of them and something you can contemplate. The first is balance. Start by evaluating your daily habits and choices. Are there areas of excess or deficit? Temperance is not just about abstaining, but finding a healthy balance. Implement small changes, such as moderating your screen time, indulging in moderation and balancing work with leisure. Are you in balance now? Reflect daily on your actions to ensure that they align with your ideal balance. The second, forgiveness which is one of the most liberating things you'll ever do. Identify any lingering grudges or resentments you still cling to. Reflect on how these feelings affect your well-being, because they most certainly do. These are damaging negative emotions that could be running your life. Practice letting go through meditation, journaling, or just expressing your feelings and consciously decide to forgive. Remember, forgiveness is a gift that you give yourself more than it's an absolution for others. Third, acceptance. Embrace the unpredictability of life by setting intentions rather than have rigid expectations. When faced with challenges, focus on what you can control, your response. This mindset can transform challenges into opportunities for growth. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. You've most certainly heard that before, but do you embrace it? Your life will have its stormy moments. Can you stay calm in stressful situations? Maintaining composure by developing an acceptance and mindfulness will allow you to sail the storms that are inevitable for us all. The next, impermanence. Embracing change and the dance of impermanence. Cultivate an awareness of the transient nature of all things. Just like the seasons change, there's a constant destruction and creation cycle in our lives. And we can see these patterns if we look. And we can learn to appreciate our present, the now, and realize tomorrow will be different than today. And that's okay because I'm on the adventure of my life and can experience it and be a part of it. And the joy is often greater now, knowing that around the corner may await sadness. Growth. And the realization that growth is a temporary discomfort. If you exercise regularly and stretch your muscles to build strength and resilience, it's not always very comfortable to do. But you are getting fit. It's a part of the process. See it as such. Actively seek out challenges that push your boundaries. This might mean taking on new responsibilities at work, learning a new skill, or, or even engaging in new social activities that feel slightly uncomfortable at first. Growth is often found at the edge of our comfort zones. Purpose. Reflect on what you're passionate about and how it can serve others. Volunteer. Engage in community service or apply your skills in a way that contributes to the greater good. Finding purpose in serving others will bring profound fulfillment and meaning to your life. It may take you some effort to find yours, but when you do, everything else will click into place. And finally, there is connection. 
which at the end of your journey will give you the most satisfaction of all. Invest time and energy in relationships that nourish you. This can mean deepening existing relationships or seeking out new connections that align with your values. In today's world of social media and the pretense of connection, this may be difficult. You just have to get off the phone and the computer and your television and be with others who share a like mind. You will feel the most reward from doing so. Incorporating these seven principles into one's life is a journey, it's not a destination. It requires patience, persistence, and a commitment to personal growth. But by actively applying these ideas, you can transform yourself, cultivating a sense of purpose, fulfillment, and a peace that resonates throughout everything that you do, ultimately leading to a life that is not only lived, but truly experienced in its fullest depth and breadth. So for now, you're not dead yet, you're alive. Go out there and be it.